Coven. Today I'm going to do a little different of a video. I'm going to talk about my art. Um, I have art for sale on artmamamoves.com. Um, if you click on the gallery, you'll see all the different artists that are um, part of this amazing gallery. Um, so first one is, this one's called Kurt, um, it has Courtney taking a picture of Kurt in a mirror, and it's actually based on a real photo, but I decided to make it like psychedelic and trippy, because I kind of was ripping off of the concept of fame being something very surreal and trippy, and how it changes you, and the fact that it's Courtney taking the picture, because she was like more obsessed with fame than Kurt, um, whether he did enjoy fame or not, he had more of a reserved um, way of being, so I just thought those two dichotomies were interesting. Plus, musically, these two people are my biggest influences in music, um, and I think you can hear that in the Coven's music. So, Coven was definitely primarily inspired by Kurt Cobain and Courtney. This one is called So Fucking Goddamn Gaudy. <laughs> It's just a pop art piece. I've always been painting words on canvases ever since I was little. I trained as more of a realist, um, kind of impressionist painter and artist like drawing and stuff like that. When I was little, because I was really serious about it at a really young age, and, um, I kind of stopped. Uh, but I also was a perfectionist and I kept having these urges to write words on canvas, just kind of give up like going into detail of someone's face or I never really learned how to do hands, but I'm really good at some things while other things I didn't really quite develop. Um, so, like, you know, like, see, like your cherry, like that's pretty good, but then everything else kind of has this more like surreal element to it and I learned to embrace that. So I have a very unique style because, um, much like music, um, I am an opera singer, but at the same time, I play guitar like a punk rocker because I kind of embrace these two dualities in myself, where like, I train really seriously and I'm a perfectionist, but at the same time, I come from a complete place of um, inspiration and just, uh, you know, just a gut feeling. So this painting is a tribute to that, I mean, it just kind of has these abstract concepts about um, how if someone is confident in themselves, you see it as Gaudy, like everybody has to like self deprecate or whatever. Like, I don't personally don't agree with that. I think if you have something and you know who you are, you should be proud of who you are and be able to speak about your successes without people like thinking that that's arrogant. Because I think most of the people have a problem with that in our society because of, you know, religion's kind of influence on American society. Um, but also because people aren't confident in themselves, so they're not comfortable hearing successes of others. So anyway, that's so fucking goddamn gaudy. And this one is my favorite one that I've ever done. This one is called Chaos For You. Um, it was meant to portray um, kind of like the juxtaposition of some, like a serene place, the calm after the storm, but it also was based on chaos. So the chair represents escapism, going outside, sitting. This represents motherly love. This is heaven. This is the forest. This is a mosquito. But yeah, and it has glitter on it, and it has lots of layers. So yeah, this is my favorite because the colors are really beautiful. Um, I really experimented with colors here. I like to um, add like a psychedelic kind of flair, like combine. Uh, colors that don't really make sense because I am trained in somewhat like aesthetics and I, you know, started out as an art major and things like that. But at the same time, like I said before, like I like to take a discipline seriously and then I like to completely like unravel the rules and then kind of juxtapose them so you get kind of like this unique thing that's uniquely me, you know, signature. So yeah, and then there's a broken heart here. So this is kind of like just a painting about tragedy, but 
like how I can uniquely make it beautiful. And how I tell the story. This, actually I use it as a cover up for my single orange box that you can actually see on Spotify for a limited time because um, I kind of let that one go because I have to like re-record it and everything. I used to track things, and now I really have dug the live sound. So my new band, we like to get in the live room that's like a nice, really nice sounding room, and um, at the record label that we're signed with, Rough That Records. And um, yeah, we record mostly just that live sound, the energy in the room, and you can hear the room. And I don't really like to track things, although with the quarantine situation, which I am honoring, um, I, you know, I have that option as well to track. And it'll still sound raw, you know, the coven is about, you know, having certain element of rawness because that's just like how it comes out and that's what I embrace. So anyway, this, speaking of folk art, this is some folk art. This is the Halloween vibes. It's called All Good Things. It has a red cat that also can be seen in the box. To me. Um, and it has a jack o' lantern in the forest, a little bit of the sky, the trees. And this one has a lot of nice explorations of different shades of green. It has a candy cane nose that I made with glue and red paint. It has some sharpie that I like to incorporate into my paintings. By the way, these are all um, acrylic paint. Um, yeah. And it takes me days, sometimes weeks to complete these. It's just kind of like uh, an intuitive process, but at the same time, like, I do have to kick my ass and be like, Sandy, you need to fucking paint something because I'm very careless with my art. So, um, I need to value it a little bit. This one is kind of like Wizard of Oz vibes. Um, it's called A Sunny Place. It's like a fantasy, um, dream-like fantasy. It looks like a storm. Um, it's just kind of like me painting my emotions with confusion and things like that. I love it so much. It has lots of white, the sky, a gate, you know, it just looks like a storm and things like that. So this one was just really emotional for me. Um, a sunny place, it's like dreaming of a, it's kind of like, um, the grass is always greener on the other side type of thing, you know. So anyway, um, I didn't tell you any more information other than the you know, kind of like inspired action or inspiration behind each painting because all the prices and how to reach me and how to do everything and how to enjoy all the other artists, that is all on the website. Um, so this was just to explain to you the world behind the paintings. Um, I do paint everything at my little cottage, El Sereno Cottage. Um, I have my cat here.